I'm Darlene Superville, and I'm a White House reporter for the Associated Press. One of the most anticipated White House ceremonies of the season will take place here on September 7th, when former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama return for the unveiling of their official portraits as President and First Lady. The ceremony will take place in the East Room. Over the years, there have been several official portraits of presidents and first ladies unveiled in East Room ceremonies, the most recent one being May 2012, when then-President Obama hosted former President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush for the unveiling of their portraits. The ceremony was lighthearted, full of humor, and it's one of those occasions where presidents from opposing parties can come together and put their differences aside. I am pleased that my portrait brings an interesting symmetry to the White House collection. It now starts and ends with a George W. <laughs> <laughs> former President Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama already have portraits hanging in the National Portrait Gallery, but those are specific to the Smithsonian. What's happening at the White House is commissioned by the White House Historical Association specifically for the purpose of joining the collection of official president and first lady portraits. The Associated Press sat down with Stuart McLaren, president of the White House Historical Association, who told us about the historical value of the collection and shared a few stories. This is a custom that the White House Historical Association has funded on behalf of the American people. The first that were revealed under our support were the portraits of President and Mrs. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Then we went back and did the Kennedy portraits. So the first unveiled with us were the Johnsons and then the Kennedys were added and now we're about to unveil the portraits of the Obamas. Another interesting point about these portraits is when they select an artist, they being the outgoing president and first lady, and they work with them to select the background, the type of feel that the portrait will have. It really involves how that president and first lady see themselves. We all know that the portrait of George Washington by Gilbert Stewart, which hangs today in the East Room, is the only item in the White House today that was in the White House in November of 1800 when John and Abigail Adams moved in to be the first president and first lady to live in the White House. There's nothing else in the White House presently that was there on day one except for that portrait. What's significant about these ceremonies is there's a long-standing tradition where the current president hosts the immediate past president to unveil their official portrait. However, that didn't happen with President Trump and former President Obama, which is why Obama's portrait unveiling is happening on September 7th. 